Hello children, welcome again to another class of English Grammar. Today children we are continuing with chapter number 19 and today we will be discussing the use of should and shouldn't or should not. Now what is should or should not and what does it express? Should and should not are used to give suggestions to someone. These are very polite, polite expressions that means for example, if I want to do something, I would use the word, should I help you? So this is a very polite way of saying something. No, you shouldn't. So both of these words are polite expressions. Now, let us have a look at question number C. Complete the sentences with shouldn't and should and also use a verb from the bracket. So, we are going to use should, and, and should and a verb from the bracket. Now, what are the verbs? Discuss, laugh, get, go, play and miss. So, let us have a look at the first sentence. Instead of sitting here and guessing away, I think what? I think you should. What should you do? Instead of thinking about something all alone, what should you do? You should discuss. So, you should discuss it with somebody or discuss the matter with Prithvi. Now, let's have a look at the next one. You dash a haircut soon. So, what should you do? You should. What is the verb that I get here? You should get a haircut soon. Now, next one, you dash for a walk after having slept all day. So, the whole day you have been sleeping. Now, what should you do? You should go. You should go for a walk after sleeping the whole day. Next, you dash in the rain. So, what should we not do in the rain? We should not play in the rain. Or shouldn't. Shouldn't play in the rain. Next, you dash be early. So, what should happen? You should be early. And what we shouldn't do? Otherwise, what will happen if we should if we are not early? You shouldn't miss the bus. If we are early, we won't miss the bus. So, you should be early. You shouldn't miss the bus. What's the next one? You dash at poor people. So, what we shouldn't do at poor people? We shouldn't laugh at poor people. So, you shouldn't laugh at poor people. We will be discussing the use of must and mustn't or must not. Now, what do, do these words express? These words express or must expresses the absolute need to do something. That means you need to do it. There is no other alternative. While must not or mustn't expresses the absolute need to not do that work. Now children, let us see how we are going to do question number D. So in question number D, we are going to complete the sentences with the words must or mustn't along with a verb from the bracket. Now what are the verbs given in the bracket? Fail, visit, play, get up, discuss and walk. Now let us see the first one. Sheila, you dash be more attentive in class. That means you should or you must. Okay. You must be more attentive in class. Otherwise, what will happen? You must, mustn't fail. If you are attentive, you will not fail. So you mustn't fail. Now, let us have a look at the next one. You dash music at such a high volume. What we shouldn't do? We shouldn't listen to music at high volume. So you mustn't 
listen or you mustn't play you mustn't play music at such a high volume now what's the third one you dash your grandparents regularly so what should you do you must visit them they are old so you must visit them regularly next you dash and dash about in class so what you shouldn't do in class you mustn't see let us have a look you mustn't get up you mustn't get up that means you shouldn't get up you mustn't get up from your place so you mustn't get up and and what should we do and what should we not do and walk about in class next you dash your problems with your parents so what must you do with your parents you must discuss your problems with your parents so you must discuss your problems with your parents so i hope children you have understood all the different kinds of uses of must and mustn't along with the use of can can't should shouldn't so thank you children